everyone. Welcome to Weekend Project. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop and we're very happy to see you here today. We're working on another little project for Pop, Father's Day, any kind of day really. It's a very simple apron and you can make it in many different sizes with kid size, adult size, make it to the waist, make it to the knee, depending on what your uh, purpose for it is, right? You can put pockets on it, you can add like a, a spot for a pencil or something else, like a you know, your tool you always use all the time or something, I don't know, there's many uses for this and you can design it in many different ways. So we're not gonna put a pocket on this because the idea for this one is gonna be like a barbecue apron. So the point is to get it messy, but you know, you you don't, you don't. Hopefully it stays pretty. <laughs> All right, so for this one, because I kind of made it a design, not a general to fit, uh, one size fits all because I, I'm not a small chicken so I'm not a one size fits all so I wanted this to be able to fit me as a stocky kind of person and so I did it a little bit wider and a little longer than I had measured my other apron that I you know have used since I was like a teenager so it's this is the the material actually it's the same material we used on longer Wednesday that I made the uh, pillows out because I have a big roll of it and it's like a pleathery uh, faux suede sort of thing not pleathery, it's just, it's like a suede. You can hopefully get a really good look at that in the little camera. So I made it so it was 26 inches wide, okay, and approximately 35 inches long. And that's going to be able to come up once I put a little bit of a hem on it, and it's going to come right to my knees. So that's to me is nothing, I'm getting covered, I'm nothing's going to, you know, splash my clothing. You know, if you like barbecuing in your, ba uh, you know, or cooking bacon in your birthday suit, then this would be a good one to protect you, you know, sort of thing. So, uh, but what we're going to do is going to cut off the little parts here to make the side of the apron and then the little channels for the rope or, you know, your braided cord or your uh, cotton cord or something else like that. You can even just use a bias tape. Um, you know, you can you find, find something to, uh, to make it so you, you can have your tie, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to line the fold up. I folded this in half the short way. So I've folded that 26 in half, and I've got the long 35 this way, okay? I'm just going to make it a little lower so I can actually see it. And I've got the fold on a nice straight line on my board. And then I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to count over five. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to go down seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, sorry, it was eight. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five squares across and eight squares down, and then you just cut that on the angle, okay? And that's going to give, that's it, we don't need those, and that's going to give us our part for our apron, okay? So that's going to build the little top part's going to come out here for the rope or your, your cord or whatever, and then these are going to be little channels, and then this comes down and around to tie around your side, okay? You can make it a little lower, you know, if you, you, know, if you need it a little bit lower, then go lower than eight inches, right? It's, it's up to you. Where is it going to sit on you? That makes it feel comfortable, right? So, you know, we may end up, you know what, let's trim it right now. I was going to say, it seems a little short, so maybe we should go like 10 inches. I'll show you the kid one I made. So let's go five across and 10 down, lining it back up where it was. Okay, so you know where that was five, six, seven, eight. That gives it a little bit more of an angle. Okay. okay. A little bit more. There we go. Once we put the channels in. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is if you were, um, this would be a perfect project for jean, a denim, um, even a corduroy, something like that. I would uh, surge the edge or do a tiny, you know, fold and then fold and then start your project like that for the, for the measurement sizes because it, it would fray. So, but because this won't, this material won't. I'm still going to put in a little fold here along this edge and then that's going to be the beginning part of my channel because I'm going to make another big one up here. But I want to make sure I get this edge up here nice and pretty, okay? And you may find that, you know, this is too wide, so come in a little bit more. Go six inches. You know, it's adaptable to you, right? So make, make it useful. All right, so we're going to pop a, whoops, here's our little rope here. 
and I'll show you how I uh, uh, there's many little tools you can have like a big crochet hook um, or long crochet hook or is it, I actually think it's called a nook um, and uh, you could use that to pull the yarn through um, there's there's many ways I just have a safety pin and uh, tied there's a knot and I put the knot, safety pin through the knot. Okay, so I'm just folding it just over just a smidge. I'm trying to only go about a quarter of an inch, but you know, just eyeballing it. Okay. And I put in a more uh, heavier gauge needle to be able to go through this material. You'd almost use like a denim or a leather sort of thing if you're working with that sort of fabric. So make sure you're using the right needle. Okay, so I come up on both sides and then I fold the top part over, okay? So there's the one side tucked in and fold it over. And we'll do this side and then I'll do the top, okay? And this is a really quick and easy project. This will probably be a short video today. And it seems like the unanimous was uh, just do what I wanted with the double wedding ring, so I'm just gonna put it on the long arm and quilt it up. So. There'll be lots of there'll be lots of other quilting videos with the with the the, the know me the know me got a couple of baby quilts to do only because my shoulder's not feeling 110 percent and I really don't uh, want to wreck it just anymore it's it's on the healing side <laughs> okay so now those two sides are done okay and now I'm just gonna flip the top and give myself a nice little, nice clean edge. You know, if it happens to come up to the neck or something like that, or I don't want it to be rough. I don't want that rough edge up underneath the face, right? So fold it down, just the one, it's not gonna fray, but if you had something that was gonna fray, I'd just fold it down another one, you know? Uh, adapt, make sure you're adding, say, an extra half inch or three quarters of an inch to your project to be able to allow for that double roll in edge, okay? For, without fray. But if you got somebody who's got a serger for a uh, board, you know, just to ask them if you can just zip it through. So, sergers are expensive, but they are very handy in many situations. Actually, um, the there was a quilt I had in the shop here. I forgot to take pictures of the back of it before I loaded it, and it was all searched, all searched together. I was like, oh. <laughs> wasn't a stray thread anywhere. It was all beautifully surged. I was like, I've never seen one like that before. It was beautiful. I'm like, that's a heck of a lot of thread. <laughs> okay, so now we have our three piece, our three section done here, the two sides and the top part. Now I wanna make sure I get my channels, my channels for my rope or my cord to go into. So I'm gonna fold these over, you know, half an inch, depends on what you got going on. Uh, this is relatively a thin, I'd say, you know, an eighth cord, uh, and it's gonna fit in there quite nicely if I do even just, you know, a half an inch. It's gonna be nice and easy, and hopefully be able to squish it up and through with the, um, the safety pin, okay? So I'm just eyeballing this. You can certainly pin it. It doesn't seem like a huge, uh, you know, long seam. So I was just lining up and I was actually stitching on my line that I did on this side, right? So that was actually my stitch line. So I'm not having two different stitch lines on the back side. I know you're, not, you're the only one that's gonna be able to see it really, but you know, it's all a matter of the finish, right? Do the, do the finish the best you can. So I'm just stitching on the previous line. So it only looks like, you know, one. And if you were confident enough to do that little fold edge and then fold over again and pin it all and sew it down, then go, then go for it. I'm not so much. <laughs> and don't forget to back stitch at those intersections with the top and the bottom where the quarter's coming in and out. You really want to make sure you get some extra stitch in so it doesn't uh, pull it up and pull those threads out, okay? Because it's gonna be under some strain, right? All right, so fold it over again, okay? Like I said, eyeball it, half inch, you know, whatever, let's go for you. You figure it out. And then I, when I was, um, when I finished up the, the kid size one, um, I, I, 
I thought, you know, this would be a great idea for something else. Well, same purpose, but, you know, for us big guys. Okay, there we go. Now again, if you wanted to do a little rolled hem on this, a little tiny one and a tiny one again, then stitch all the way down and finish that all off, this is not gonna fray, it's not gonna go anywhere for, for me, but if you had something that was going to, you know, do that, reinforce it, okay? Uh, take the time to do it. So now we have our pretty much our base of our apron. Here we go, that's, that's what's gonna happen. Now you can applique something on top of this, you can have the kids with the finger paints, you know, drawing happy faces or with washable markers, decorate this time around and then once it hits the wash machine it's all fresh and new for them to decorate again um, if you didn't have any type of thick material like this I just use two things of material the same like a white and then just sew them together you know what I mean like do a you know make a little slip where you turn it right side out and press it all and then stitch around and use that as your base to start this whole project off okay so you know just think about it you, I'm sure you have the means you can you, you can uh, you can make it happen okay so now you want to make sure you have enough cord and I, of course I get more than more than necessary it's better to have too much than too little okay so make sure it goes around here you know around through here and then possibly a tie around the back and then to the front sort of thing so it gives a lot of room so you want to come up on the one side okay doesn't matter which side it's up to you and then you come you just oh well, actually I'll show you how to how I did this first okay to make sure that I wasn't gonna lose my knot or lose my pin there we go or a safety pin I just took my little cord and this is a I would, it's like a kind of a silky nylon-y kind of feel. It doesn't feel too rough. I put it on my neck first to see how it was going to be bothered, and it didn't seem to be much. And I just did a little, simple little knot. Just over itself and under, and do a little nice and tight. Pull it tight. Trim the top, but not too much. Or it's just, your knot's going to come out, okay? And then you take your safety pin, and you come up right in between that knot. We have to make sure you got enough room to get in there. But just wiggle it, and it'll go through. And then that is what your guide is to get you through your channel. Hold on. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Just being stubborn. <laughs> All right. And then that's a good spot. You're not going to lose your thread and it's on there. It's locked. Maybe give it a nice good tight, tighten again. And then you have it so you can be able to get up and down and over and off to grandma's house we go. Okay. And then just wiggle it up. You got, you push, you're pushing the bottom up in between your fingers and you're just kind of collecting the fabric around it and then shifting it down and you're push, pushing the bottom up still holding on to it I can still feel the tip of that the head right there and then there's the knot and I'm just pushing and pushing and pushing and then it comes out okay now I'm gonna go make sure I have enough down to give me a nice good tie on this side and then the same I'm gonna go up and over the top of course you want to trim up these little threads this would be a great spot as well to use some of your decorative stitches in a lovely color you know you got something that's got fishes or happy faces or whatever little I don't know boats or something why not wouldn't that look nice all the way across here you mean something across the top there I think it would look lovely you know think about it make it special the kids can pick all the little patterns and the colors to stitch it out in okay so you're just moving it again down the channel shifting it down and it's not a very long process okay okay and now you can either just take the safety pin out and you make sure you tie the other end once you get it to fit okay now I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna put it on and you'll see what we did I can have things all tied up here all right so here with my chair out of the way okay there and then here's my bottoms, okay? And you just kind of yank it up wherever it wants to go. You know, you make it fit, you make it fit you. You want it lower, you want it higher, you know? It's, it's adjustable, okay? And then around the back for nice and secure, and then again in the front. And then that way, it's not going anywhere. They can do a tie, they can do a bow, they can do whatever, and it's got enough room, and it's coming down just to my knees. I think it fits me quite nicely, actually. So, you know, that's a great idea. Why not? Even if you're just out working in the garden, you're not getting your shirt all dirty with the dirt. There's so many uses to do this, right? All right, so I'll show you the kid one. 
And I thought, you know what, you're going out to restaurants sometimes and you always got this lovely dress shirt on. You know, one of these, <laughs> I think would be awesome to sh save your tie in the front of your shirt. Don't you think? <laughs> so I think I'm gonna pack a couple of these in the Jeep just to make sure we have stuff when we go over barbecue and we don't miss any shirts up. All right, thanks everybody. Have a fantastic weekend and we'll see you tomorrow on the live stream where we're gonna do Jacob's Live. All right, take care everybody. Big hugs. See ya.